Hi there, I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich, and I like to talk about leadership and engineering. Hey, in today's talk, I'd like to talk about religion and the workplace. So, what about any of these scenarios? You know, let's suppose there's a, a worker who um, likes to put Bible verses up on their cubes. Is that okay to do? And, and, and for the purpose of this talk, um, uh, I'm talking about, you know, the technology industry. I'm not talking about people who work at churches or things like that. I mean, I'm talking about engineers, right? So someone who likes to put Bible verses on their, on their walls, is that okay? I mean, some would say, no, no, no religion in the workplace. Uh, others are very vehemently against um, uh, religion. So uh, how, do we, how do we navigate that? And why would we even want to navigate that? So here, here's the bottom line is what the, the heart of the modern leadership paradigms are all kind of leading toward this. What we want to uh, have a great company, to be get your productivity up and to do all these things well, is you want employees who are fully engaged, employees who are internally motivated, employees who, who bring their whole heart and just really join the vision and wanting to, to be successful and to work together. Now you see, if you're a person who uh, is religious, so uh, is very involved in their church or whatever religion looks like to them, and you say to them, okay, we want you here, but while you're here, we want you to pretend like the one thing you value most in, the li in life like is, is uh, pretend, it doesn't exist, it's false, it's a lie, it's a scam, it, you know, whatever. Here's the reality that employee is not going to be engaged. On the other hand, you do have people who don't want to hear about it, maybe who are against it. And if you say, you know, how, how do we navigate this? How do we keep everybody engaged? That's the, the real problem that we face in a pluralistic society. So uh, the good news is, is there, there is a book, a guy, a guy named uh, Douglas Hicks in 2003, and uh, the book's title is Religion in the Workplace, and he presents a model for how to navigate this uh, tricky situation. And so the way he does it is he talks about his model of respectful uh, pluralism. And there's three premises of respectful pluralism, and if you conform to all three, it should work out is, is what Hicks says. So the first concept is that of non-degradation. So one rule here is <clears throat> uh, what we don't want in the workplace is attacking other people's religion or lack of religion or whatever. So, you know, for someone who puts up some, um, you know, making fun of this religion or making fun of the fact these people don't have a religion or whatever combination, that's unacceptable under Hicks' model of respectful pluralism. The idea is... Uh, it's okay to be religious, and we want to make sure people feel like it's okay. And, you know, one of the great things about America is we do have this religious freedom. You're free to believe whatever or not believe. And, um, you know, what we don't want to do is sort of, uh, you know, prevent that by, by making fun. So the, the one thing is you simply don't make fun of them. You don't do things that are disrespectful. Uh, the second one is... Uh, the, the principle of non-coercion. So we just established that it's okay if someone wants to have a Bible verse or, or whatever brand of thing they've got going, some little symbol or a little cross or a, a picture or, you know, whatever else, um, you know, providing it's not, um, uh, you know, like distasteful. I mean, if you had someone who's involved in some religion where they, um, you know, sacrifice animals or something, you know, no, no fair having like a, a picture of a, of a lamb getting its head cut off or something. I mean, you know, there's, there's boundaries to this. But, you know, let's say it's a picture of, um, uh, I, I don't know, of a church or a picture of, um, you, you know, some famous religious painting or, you know, something like that. that that's certainly okay. But the principle of non-coercion is, Yes, you're free to have your little things. You're free to talk about it. If someone says, you know, hey, what'd you do this weekend? This is, well, I went to church. You know, that's okay. And uh, so let's say they're having some event at church. Is, is it okay to invite your coworkers? Sure. Hey, we're having this concert. I think it'll be fun. Do you want to come? 
Here's where non-coercion comes in. So your coworker invites you to something and you say no thanks. So the principle of non-coercion is no means no. So uh, it is absolutely unthinkable or unacceptable that uh, if someone uh, brings something up, invites you to something, or you know, wants you to read a book or whatever, well, that's okay. But the minute you say no thanks, that's when they have to let go. So there's no degradation, there's no making fun of people's beliefs, and we're not trying to, you know, put a gag rule on anybody, but at the same time is they express something, they make an invitation or, or whatever, and you say no, then we're done. And that needs to stop. You can't be like, well, I'm, I'm just going to stay at you and invite you every week till you say yes or, you know, N-O, that's a no. Okay, so the third principle of Hicks respectful pluralism is the, the principle of non-establishment. So, and again, we're talking about it, maybe a technology company, medical device, something like that, you know, where it's not in the business of religion. So, um, tandem diabetes would be one example of this. So the idea of non-establishment is, is uh, no fair sort of um, advertising either overtly or corporately like, you know, we're fill in the blank here. You know, uh, we, you know, we don't believe in God here. We do believe in God and we believe in this variety. We, you know, the, the idea is we don't tip the scale in favor of anything. We really work toward respecting people to not degradating to, on the other hand, respecting the people, the respected people are talking to, no means no. And, and we're simply not saying that this is our preferred form. We just, you know, the, the second you, you sort of, um, you know, it, 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 it becomes a thing where people of, of this religion or that religion or that non-religion all of a sudden are the preferred or viewed as the, the intelligent or, you know, anything like that. I mean, that no longer, you're, you're no longer to have engaged employees. So at any rate, that's uh, my summary of Hicks' uh, concept of respectful pluralism. And, uh, it's, it, you know, if you're dealing with those kind of issues, that's, that's worth reading. Um, hey, uh, you can find more of my videos on uh, TomOrichConsulting.com. There's a pull down at the top. It says Leadership Videos. Just click on that. Select your video. If you're on YouTube already, I think you can search on Dr. Tom Ulrich. That seems to work. At any rate, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you next time.